Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So we're doing the Malkavian edition, as you can tell by this uh, bizarrely dressed young lady here. We have a taxi to take. We're going to visit Bach in the Society of Leopold. He doesn't know we're coming, of course, so we can drop a good old Bach on him. Anyway, can I have a top up from Piss Man on the way? No, oh no, wait, I forgot. We're uh, we're angry at Piss Man, aren't we? Piss Man has betrayed us for some other oh, hussy dear. that answers the phone. Ribbit, let's go to the Society of Leopold. So. More importantly, if you cannot turn invisible, this mission is rubbish. However, we can. Although, which one was better? I, I guess one I picked up something incredibly lethal. 40. 42? 45? No, okay. Alright. So what we need to do is, for some reason, the trees are really loud. Maybe they're full of, like, gigantic vampire cicadas or something. Music's very funky. Look at this place, isn't it grand? Also, we're going to quick save because I am inevitably going to balls this. However, one does not have to worry about balls in this when one can turn invisible very, very efficiently. Look at this. Look at these people there. Torches and, you know, standing. These two Muppets here thinking they're so cool. Day. He looks like a hard man. The glorious day? No. Should I? That's Grunfeld Bach. Bach! The name sounds familiar. How long have you been with the Connotiers? Not very long. I was sworn in just last winter. I see. Are you enjoying this? Stabby stabby. 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 Stabby Yeah, what happened? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Appeared to be stuck in the ground. I, I appeared to be stuck. There we go. Gosh, that was almost a disaster. Guys, please. Guys, please. There's no need for this violence. I mean, I wanted to do this nice and stealthily, but, I mean, this is me, after all. Look at all these identical idiots. What do they find you from, like a Lego kit? Okay, you're, well, you're not gonna go down. Let's see how stealthy I can be. Yo, 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 what up? Yeah, who could have possibly done that? Ooh, look at this pretty redhead chick. You know who needs to die next? You do. Boink! What? Are you saying I wasn't stealthy? Come on. I was so invisible, I might as well have been like... I don't know. What's really invisible? I'm not sure, to be honest. I need to think of something that's incredibly invisible. Alonzi? You, sir, with the bald head and all the manner of clones. I'm going to munch you. Really? Never mind. No, 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 Alice. Alice, you're supposed to eat him. Alice? Good girl. Alright. Excellent, we need to recover a bit of, uh, bit of your health. Okay, merely not the uh, stealthiest approach. However, if you think of it in a different way... Oh, inventory full. We're at one weapons. Well, oh well. What's really shite and not interesting? That crappy shotgun is not bad. Let's get rid of this crappy pistol as well. Okay. Who, who just took a pot shot at me? Oh! Are you people? Okay, never mind. Oh, really? Oh, is that nice? They probably didn't hear anything out there. Like, let's pretend that we did that super ninja like and nothing happened. Lord, I pray now that you give us the strength in that, that I might overcome the hordes of Satan and his children, that I might wield the. The hordes of Satan say hi. Oh, crap, god damn it. Might be a bit blasphemous now. I was supposed to be a ninja! Oh, jeez. What are the chances they're gonna let me go free? There we go, look, I'm invisible again. Sweet. One bold clone, two bold clones, three bold clones, more bold clones, more. Doink! 
Guys, please. There's no need for such violence. Well, I mean, there is, just not to me. Is he dead? No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now he's dead. Okay. Now we're good. Thank you. Appreciate you waiting, Mr. Bald, sir. It's, uh, it's a shame that you and your clone brothers had to, like, have an argument with me first. But never mind. Chomp. Nice. Oh, people said I missed a friggin' charm, didn't they? Ah, balls. I missed a, uh, a thing that gives you more XP uh, in the Giovanni place, but it's a bit too late for that now, probably. Ooh, a journal. We like journals, don't we? Oh, nice. It's done by... Ah, I should read it like he does. We have tracked LaCroix to Los Angeles. No, I, I just can't keep that. It'd be terrible the entire time. He has made his lair in the penthouse of the Venture Tower. Uh, hiding behind some legitimate business friend while commanding his legion of demons by cover of night. I pray to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the dark wings of Lucifer himself. It is not LaCroix, I fear, nor his underlings. But there is fear in my heart nonetheless, and ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me the strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning and the sun on my face was little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with some hellspawn. Minions of the vampire we know as Alistair Kraut. We have been able to, unable to find his lair, but it is only a matter of time. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding the Ankaran sarcophagus and the massacre on the Elizabeth Dane has my superiors troubled. I have been told to expect a package in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on this artifact. Its arrival seems... convenient. In light of LaCroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss, yet I cannot see what machinations are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. We finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, but he seems that we were too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a younger vampire who seemed unaware of Grout's demise. No doubt one of his sucklings come to visit. I took care of that demon and destroyed the house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. There seems great unrest among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of LaCroix was unwelcome to the rest of the damned. I know not, nor do I care. They will all burn, whether it be my hand or the father's. The Ankaran sarcophagus was stolen today from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads me to believe that the demon spawn were behind it. Man, this guy's obsessed. I mean, okay, admittedly obsessed, but kind of justified since I've killed like half of his dudes. Anyway, uh, blah, blah, blah. and the book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces that theory. I now know that these may very well be the end times, and the time of the final struggle may well be upon us. I dreamed of LaCroix last night, of his hideous visage burned to ash in a great inferno. May it be that this vis vision given to me by God that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance. The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Kriegler! Reported the servant to the vampire coven that had been observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seemed there was a party, that something interrupted their fleshly rituals. He could say no more on the matter, but I smell LaCroix's meddling hand in all this. All the better. May the demons feed on themselves until the world is rid of their evil. Wow, I didn't think this was going to be so long. Sorry. I had dreams of fire in Griffin Park last night. I know not of their origin, but I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness warning me that he's fearful that the apocalypse is upon us and that my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart and will fight for righteousness until I'm no longer able. I took Johansson from the hotel room last night and brought him back to the monastery. I am convinced that LaCroix will try and find him and he is the only one with the knowledge about how the artifacts can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault on the monastery and they are ready to die for his glory, as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these last dark days, and may the children of Satan burn forever in the hellfires of damnation. Amen. Well, isn't that just dreamy? Alright, well, where am I going exactly, anyway? This leads us outside. This probably leads us upstairs. Or downstairs, whichever. Hmm, okay. Hey? Oh, I just stripped. No, Alice, hussy, put some clothes on. Good girl. Okay, well, obviously upstairs is... Wow, really full of dudes. That's a lot of dudes. Look at this. Friggin' party. Okay, what have we got here? A journal. A piece of paper. A key, which is the most important thing here. Uh, what's that, a gun? Shotgun. I'll have a quick squint at the... Excuse me a second. Have a quick squint at the journal. Rude. Vampire Apocrypha and the Ankara Sarcophagus. What's the Vampire Apocrypha? Oh, that's not that long. This book is titled Vampire Apocrypha. I'll skip the rest of it. Discovered in Gaul, 1080. The origin of this dark and mysterious talisman is largely unknown, 
and is mostly considered a myth, if not for the etchings of Julius of Gaul, who first discovered and then subsequently re entombed the artifact, there would be almost no historical record of the artifact, save for various unfounded legends of its evilness scattered throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. Historians and theologians alone, alone, alike, have been unable to ascertain its exact age or place of origin, although the symbols and inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is from an era of ancient Sumner of Mesot Mesopotamia? It has never been opened, and therefore, uh, oh crap, lost myself. Uh, never opened, therefore, any myths pertaining to who or what might be encased in it are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars with bollocks, many scholars, uh, I've lost it. Although many scholars within the church seem to think that they hold the remains of an ancient king whose name so far has been lost to the ages. Let it be said, though, that the writings of Julius of Gaul describe the artifact as being a nefarious and dread thing, full of some ancient and undeniable evil. He attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact who, upon setting his eyes on it for the first time, began convuls convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. Though in 1000 AD he probably could have just drank some water and that might have had the same effect. Okay, I mean, as much as I dislike Vampire Hunters and it'd be entertaining and woohoo! Hey! Oh dear! Ooh. That's the problem with Vampire Hunters, I always find they're very grouchy. Woohoo! Uh-oh. Run away! Run away! Pardon me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Look at this. <laughs> Don't shoot your own dude, you moron! What was that about? Yeah, and he's like, mate, did you just shoot me? He's like, what? No. Who would do such a thing? Who would get a automatic shotgun and- Run! Run! Can you, can you stay still for me? That'd be grand. Hey, so it's nothing personal, but I need to drink your blood, alright? Guy who looks like Kristoff from Vampire the Vasco Redemption. Chomp chomp. Oh, Mr. Shotgun, how I miss thee. There is a magical book of bookiness over here, let's have a quick squint. Art of the Quick Draw. Oh, is this a, is this a really... Wait, what? Oh, I can't... I need to research at least nine. Man, I'm rubbish with books. Alice, you need to read more. You illiterate fuck. Alright, well, oop. Aha! A secret tunnel, you say? Oh, it has dudes in it. Can I execute dudes with a gun? No, apparently not. Okay, if I was to execute a person, with a big floppy arm would be far funnier. Woohoo! <laughs> Tragic. Hey, Mr. Gimbal, your big floppy arm still comes in handy. What the chance is... Woohoo! Crackety crackety. I'm not sure if Alice is trying to strangle them or hump them. I mean, Alice is a very attractive young lady, but, you know, probably the bench-pressing cars bits makes this kind of thing a bit awkward. Damn it! Ah, uh, uh, uh. uh, whatever. I mean, it must be quite terrifying. I'm almost, I am pretty nigh on indestructible, really. I mean, you could unload a clip into me for ages. Ages! And I would just shrug it off until I, of course, died a horrible, hideous death. Let's pick up this barrel and wing it. Come on, Alice, we have a floppy arm and uh, a group of people to brutalize. Oh, and, uh, you know, ugh! Etc. Et Hello? Anybody home? I have a uh, package for Mr. Grunfeldbach. It is uh, one hand, slightly floppy, has been used to molest many people. Oh sweet, a pirate's cove. Alice, you can live out your dream of wanting to be a pirate hussy. Let's do it. One, and two, and a three, and invisible. If I were an evil asshole vampire, and I was to choose to execute somebody, I would do it with a floppy arm, and wait till the other guys turn themselves around. Yar har fiddly dee. <laughs> Snappity crackity. <laughs> Gee, what could have possibly happened to my friend who vanished in front of my eyes? I don't know. What could have possibly happened to your friend? Snap. Mmm. I like the smell of floppy arm in the morning. A lot of fireworks down here. They're either going to have a gigantic party or realise that vampires probably really hate fireworks. Hmm, okay. Generator number two. Generator number one. Well, just to do things in order, I suppose. Did you hear anything? <laughs> 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 
He's having a conversation with himself, the clone. I wonder how the Christians get all these troops. They found one bold dude who was pretty hard and decided to clone him 50 million times and now they're all really derpy. Ooh, did you smell that vampire? Oh no, sir, I did not smell that vampire, for I am dumb and have no nose or cavities. Roll. Hey, stop right there. Let me shoot him in the balls over and over. No, stop shooting people in the balls, you sick bastard. <laughs> I love that. Brother, you have been bitten by a vampire. Let me shoot off your cock. Thank you, brother. The appreciation is gratifying. Uh, my balls. Oh, what the? 